So he explains the word rhyme as shack. Uh, many of us know, we are more familiar with the word shack, right? They don't know the, the word shack is used. Uh, the word rhyme also means doubt, shack also means doubt. Is the meaning the same between the two of them? Uh, is, it, is it exactly the same? So when he says that la rayba fihi means la shakka fihi, is he giving the exact explanation of uh, what the Quran says? Uh, I don't think so. Whenever we see expl explanations like that, uh, it is an approximate meaning, a close meaning, but not necessarily the exact meaning. A word-for-word -word explanation uh, is not enough. And he goes on to say, الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ يُؤْمِنُونَ Your Iman, meaning to believe, and يُصَدِّقُونَ تَصْدِيق What is تَصْدِيق? It is also to believe, to attest to the truth of something. Uh, <coughs> and he, uh, uh, but uh, so can one word be used in place of another? Uh, this is how you should think of it. Can one of these words be used in place of another? Um, it will not always be the case. In fact, most uh, most likely it will not be the case that the one of one word can be used in place of the other. And especially in the Quran, you cannot substitute. The other word for this word that is used in the Quran, in the ayah, and gi uh, giving it the same meaning. The meaning will be changed if you use that other word. Although, on the surface, the two words seem to have the same meaning. And in this, uh, the same passage, in the beginning of uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ أَعْطَيْنَاهُمْ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ أَعْطَيْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ uh, from what we provided them, uh, risk, uh, provision, mimma rozapna hum, what we have provided them, a'atayna hum, a'ata means literally to give, what we have given them, uh, is the meaning the same, what we have provided them or what we have given them, uh, is the meaning the same, uh, of course by the use of <coughs> different words to, tra to explain or translate the meanings, you will see immediately that there is a difference. Uh, provision uh, uh, cannot mean the same as giving. Giving and uh, 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 providing, they're not, uh, they're not exactly the same. Uh, so these questions that we have at the bottom, the word rhyme and shak, are they synonyms? Or tasdiq and iman? Or ata and risk? Are they the same? Are they synonyms? They're not, they are not synonyms. Uh, and here are some uh, other examples. The word fa'ana and the word amila, both of them can be translated as to do. Man ya'mal, man amila sayyiatan fala yujza illa mithnaha. How do you translate that? Whoever does an evil will not be compensated or not be recompensed illa mithnaha except by the like of it. Whoever does an evil. So Amira is translated here as does, right? Whoever does an evil. Uh, also, Yawma tajidu kullu nafsim ma amirat bin khayrim muqdara. On that day, tajidu kullu nafs, every soul will find ma amirat, what it did. Min khayr, of good, whatever good it did. Muhtara. Muhtara means presented to them, in front of them, right? Being presented to them. Hadir, the word Hadir and Muhtar is being presented to them. Uh, and they will find what they did present. Hadir. They will find what they did present. So Amilu translated as what they did. قَالَ كَذَلِكَ اللَّهُ يَفْعَلُ مَا يَشَاءُ These are taken from you know, different parts of the Qur'an. He said, uh, Allah, uh, that is the angel said, Allah, uh, that thus is Allah, Allah does whatever He wills. يَفْعَلُ مَا يَشَاءُ يَفْعَلُ Allah does what He wills. 
Uh, we translate it, in the first three, we translate it Amila uh, and Ya'maluna and so on, uh, as uh, da, da, do and does. And Yaf'alu also the same meaning. Yaf'alu ma yasha Allah does what He wills. Walakin Allah yaf'alu ma yureed. Allah does what He wants. But Allah does what He wants. وَتَبَيَّنَ uh, لَكُمْ كَيْفَ فَعَلْنَا بِهِمْ And it has become clear to you how we dealt with or how we did with what we did with them. And what we did with them. كَيْفَ means how, not, not, not what. So how, how we dealt with them. Uh, so the word فَعَلَ we translated as uh, to do. So are the two words the same uh, in meaning? Are they synonyms? And uh, most of the scholars will tell you no, they are not synonyms. Uh, Fa'ala uh, has the, um, uh, it implies in it doing something quickly, maybe without even thinking. And amila implies in it doing something after thinking about it, when thinking about it. So look at the first three verses. Whoever does an evil will only be recompensed with the light of it. Uh, the, you know, after deliberation, after thinking about you do, uh, you, you do an action, an evil, deliberately thinking about it. And the same for the other words, whatever you have done, uh, you know, you have deliberately done, you will see all of that on the day of, of judgment. Uh, but uh, these other three verses, all of them, Allah is the fa'il of the verb here. Allah. كَذَلِكَ اللَّهُ يَفْعَلُ مَا يَشَاءُ اللَّهُ يَفْعَلُ مَا يُرِيدُ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهُ يَفْعَلُ So in all of these cases it is Allah. Of course there are other places in the Qur'an where uh, Allah is not the fa'il, that is not the subject. There are other words that is the subject of the same verb. But the unique thing is that uh, the word يَعْمِلَ or يَعْمَلُ is not used for Allah. You know, I, I have not, done, uh, this is what I've seen, I have not um, you know, done a thorough research myself into the Qur'an to see if that is so in all cases. But think about uh, all, the, all the words that you know where Allah is mentioned. Allah yaf'alu, uh, you know, yaf'alu Allah, yaf'alu Allah, or, or, uh, or fa'al Allah, or uh, Allah yaf'alu, and so on. Uh, it is always uh, fa'ala or yaf'alu. And it is not ya'malu, amila or ya'malu. That word is not used for when Allah does something. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need time to think. Right? Allah just does. So amila is not suitable to, to use for Allah to, to say Allah did so and so. Amila, Allah amila so and so, right? You know, it will not work. Allah doesn't need time to think. Uh, <clears throat> so each word, uh, and, and this is not only for these two words, but a general rule, a general statement of the entire Qur'an. Each word is used in its precise place, and there can be no substitute for that word in, that, in any part of the Qur'an. You cannot substitute any word in the Qur'an for any other word, no matter how it seems to have the same meaning. Uh, what's the difference between qital and jihad? Of course, this uh, has been uh, you know, so much talked about, everybody should know that, right? Qital, of course, literally fighting. Uh, and jihad can include, can have the meaning of the word fighting, but it is broader than that. And you will see that in many of the places where it is used in the Quran. Ya ayyuhan nabiyu jahid al kuffar wal munafiqina wa abluz alayhim do jihad against the kuffar and the munafiqin, and we stern against them. You jahiduna fi sabirillah, they do jihad in the path of Allah, wa la yakhafuna lawma tala'im. And they do not fear the blame of any one who may blame them. Fala tuta'il mukafiri, fala tuta'il kafirina, wa jahidhum bihi jihad in kabira. And do not obey, so do not obey the disbelievers, and do jihad against them, jihad and kabira, a huge jihad against them. Uh, 
uh, and uh, it, it is not uh, telling, uh, you know, get, uh, fighting or so, fighting maybe if it is needed, but uh, it is not always fighting. Uh, they fight in the way of Allah and they kill or and are killed. Uh, whoever fights in the way of Allah and he is killed or he is victorious, uh, then Allah mentions uh, the results of that. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا And fight those, and fight in the way of Allah, those who fight against you, وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا And do not be aggressive, do not be the aggressors. Uh, and uh, so you will find that the word qital is, on, uh, is used um, uh, in terms of physical fighting, um, uh, maybe with the sword, or of course in the past, and now with other weapons. Uh, but the word jihad, uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, you, uh, you, you would be able to see also uh, that um, the, uh, the other words uh, in, in any context uh, that is used along with the word qital or the words that are derived from that root, uh, qital, um, uh, they, all, they all pertain to physical fighting. Whereas uh, when the word jihad and the derivatives of jihad uh, are used, uh, there is no reference to physical fighting. Mo in most cases, there is no reference to physical fighting. So jihad is much more than that. Uh, when Allah says, وَجَاهِدْ هُمْ بِهِ جِهَادٍ kabira," And which uh, a great jihad uh, against them, بِهِ with it, with what? What is, what is Bihi referring to? It refers to the Qur'an. So this is definitely not physical fighting, right? Use the Qur'an to fight against it. The Qur'an to wage jihad against them. Uh, another example is the, the two words, Ghaith and Matar. What is the difference between them? Both of them mean rain. Matar is rain, Ghaith is rain. What's the difference between them? Uh, <coughs> look at these examples. وَأَمْتَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ مَتَرًا فَأَمْتُرْ كَيْفَ كَانَ عَقِبَةُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ And we uh, showered rain upon them. Uh, and so look how uh, was the end of the Mujrimin, the criminals, uh, the wrongdoers. وَأَمْتَرْنَا عَلَيْهَا عَلَيْهَا حِجَارَةً مِنْ سِجِّيلٍ مَنْدُوبٍ and we rain upon uh, it, upon that village or uh, 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 society or so, hijara, stones uh, made of sijil uh, mandul, uh, baked clay and, uh, and so on. Uh, and maybe this is talking about the people of Lut, alayhi <laughs> salam. Uh, so this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed by raining upon them stones. وَأَمْتَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ مَطَرًا فَسَاءَ مَطَرَ الْمُنْذَرِينَ And we sent upon them rain, uh, and how evil was the rain, the, the rain, matar, the rain that comes from the sky, of al munzarin those who were given the warning. How evil the, the rain uh, was upon them. In all, all of these cases, or in most cases where the word matar is used, perhaps not always, but in most cases, it is a destructive kind of rain, raining destruction upon the people. Whereas the word ghaif is different. In Allah, عنده علم وينزل الغيث. Allah with him is the knowledge of the hour, and he is the one who sends them the rain. The ghaif, the one that gives uh, benefits to mankind, that is what ghaif is. So ghaith and matar are not the same, although both refer to rain. But matar is the one that usually has punishment in it, and ghaith usually has benefits in it. وَهُوَ الَّذِي يُنَزَّلُ غَيْثَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا قَنَطُوا وَيَنْشُرُوا رَحْمَةً And he is the one who sends down al ghaith uh, After they had despaired of it, you know, after maybe there's a long period of drought, and he spreads his mercy. So from the ghaith comes the mercy of Allah. 
ثم يأتي من بعد ذلك عام فيه يغاث الناس uh, and uh, then a year will come after that uh, in it uh, the people will be seeking help غيث uh, here is uh, not the rain itself uh, but the, the people will be seeking help uh, or the, the people will be uh, actually granted help the people will be granted help يغاث الناس uh, this is the, um, the, the passive form. They will be granted help. Uh, they will be in such a difficult position because uh, of the hardships that will be there. So after that will come a year of ease. Uh, that ease, of course, will also be with, with the rain. <clears throat> What's the difference between Reh and Riyah? Both of them uh, mean wind. In fact, Riyah seems to be the plural of Riyah. Riyah is, the, is plural, it's a plural form. Uh, but uh, we find uh, that wherever the word Riyah is used, wherever the 